What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are getting back after it onto that Series 13 ladder, but this time using probably the most requested Pokemon on the channel, Marshadow. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Also, while you're down there, ring those notification bells so you know when my videos go live. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Clover Bells. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be leaving a link to all the socials down in the description below if you guys want to catch some cool content. He has awesome content over on his YouTube channel. And if you want to catch some cool rental teams, he also has a lot of different cool rental teams for Series 13. But yeah, we're using Marshadow today. And Marshadow is probably one of the stronger Pokemon in Series 13. And it is super cool. It is a fighting and ghost type. And I feel like everybody just wants to use him because he is just has an amazing design all around. So that's what we're going to be bringing you guys today. We're going to be bringing you guys Marshadow. Hopefully we get the rock out with it. Grab ourselves a winning record on that rank ladder. But let's get started here in that top left corner with Yvelta as our first Pokemon for today's team preview. It's got the Dark Aurora as its ability, alongside with the Soul Vest as its item. It's got Oblivion Wing for stab damage, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Foul Play for big damage up against physical attackers, and Snarl to drop special attack. Second Pokemon is going to be Kyogre. Kyogre is still king of the rain over here. Super strong Pokemon, really OP in most situations. It's got Drizzle as its ability, alongside Mystic Water to boost its water damage, and then it's got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Protect for its four moves. Middle left is going to be Zacian, another Pokemon that is still OP and super strong in this game. It's got Interpret Sword alongside Rust Sword, and then the moveset is fairly normal with Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Play Rough, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be the boy. It is going to be Marshadow over here with a Technician ability and a Focus Sash as its item. This moveset right here, I use it a couple times on different other teams, and I think that it is the best moveset for Marshadow. It has its signature move, Spectral Thief. It has Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. It has Close Combat for Stab. And then it has Endeavor, which is a really strong move. It, it does damage based on how low your HP is. So since we have Focus Ash, if someone brings us down to one and we use Endeavor, we're going to bring them all the way down. And then we can just use Shadow Sneak if they outspeed us just to pick up that KO. So really strong Pokemon, really great moveset. Cannot wait to showcase it off. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Whimsicott, our support Pokemon. It's got Prankster alongside with the Eject button. We have Switcheroo to hand off that Eject button if we want to. And then we got Protect, Moonblast, and Tailwind for its moveset. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Regilecki over here. I've been seeing this Regilecki used more and more on the rank ladder, and it is super strong, especially in Dynamax form. It's got Transistor alongside the Life Orb, and then it's got Wild Charge, Bounce, Assurance, and Protect. Guys, if you want to write the scene for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with the Series 13 Marshadow team. So guys, if you watched my last video, we showcased Life Orb Melmetal, and we went 2-1 in Series 13. And those were actually my first battles for Series 13. So we are still sitting at a 2-1 record. Hopefully we can get rocking in here and grab ourselves a win here to start off with today's video. But we found an opponent. We are going up against some guy from a different country because I can't even read that language. But he's rocking a pretty strong team with no Series 13 Pokemon, but a lot of strong legendary Pokemon. He's got Zacian. He's got Shadow Rider Calyrex. Eveltal, and then he's got Kai Ogre, Incineroar, and Wimscott. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could go Wimscott for a lead, but he might lead like a fake out Pokemon. But in that case, I could just lead Marshadow. Close combat it and kind of get rolling from there. It does sound really, really good. It does sound really good. Hmm. What do I do here? This is Gene Sewer, because Marshadow is really strong. He's really strong up against a lot of these Pokemon. He's got Shadow Sneak. Oh, yeah, I'm going to lead the Marshadow. I'm just digging it a lot. So I'm going to leave the Marshadow. Can't be faked out either. But it can be intimidated, which is kind of annoying. It can be intimidated, which is a little rough. But he's definitely going to go Incineroar, right? I could leave Kyogre to kind of counteract that. Kyogre could be rather strong. So I could go Kyogre. I could go Whimsicott here. I'm leaning towards Whimsicott. But I feel like he's going to take speed control as well. But you know what? I am going to go Whimsicott, Kyogre. I'm going to bring Marshadow in back in. And then Zacian as my final Pokemon. Makes the most sense, right? It seems like our best play. So I'm trying to think who he can go into. He can go into a lot, but I feel like we have an upper hand with this lead right here. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But the thing is, we have a jack button on a Whimscott. So say he leads in Cinnawar and we go for a tail and we don't get it off. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to eject button out. Probably going to Marshadow and then just be able to close combat onto his Incineroar if we want to. Because Marshadow does a ridiculous amount of damage. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Let's see who he leads. Is it going to be Incineroar? I would think it would be, right? It is not. Okay, so he's going same lead as me. 
we're having some fun with this one. <laughs> we are having some fun with this one. Okay, so from here, I might just eject button Kyogre, right? I might just eject button Kyogre. I might just eject button Kyogre. Because who could he swap into? Wait, I could tailwind next turn. I could definitely tailwind next turn. Or do I just get rid of the Wimscott? And then just maybe tailwind next turn? Because he might tailwind here. <laughs> I don't want my Wimscott to take damage. I'm trying to... I think what we could do because he probably has a lightning move and I don't know if we can eat up a lightning move. That's my problem. I really want to eject button this Pokemon. Could go into an origin pulse. But again, I kind of just want to Dynamax and get rid of this Wimscott right here. And then roll with a switcheroo. Exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say Ayo. Kyrie, here's this eject button. Let's get rolling from there. So he's Dynamaxing. I'm maxing. We getting after it. <laughs> we getting after it. We are getting after it. We are getting after it. So I think he's going to Tailwind here. Right? What is he going to do? Hopefully he doesn't taunt me. Taunt would be rather annoying. Taunt would definitely be annoying. I want this thing's item. But he's outspeeding me right now. I don't know if it's a speed tie. Or he just has more, uh... More EVs invested in the speed. But we shall see. We shall see. But great little... Mirror lead to get this video started. Both going Kyogre and Scott. Really safe play. It's just good all around. It's just great all around. So let's see how this one plays. We do go first. We're gonna switch over to six item, and we are going to take its. Uh, what are we taking? It's Choice Scarf. Okay. So he's not gonna be Choice later. Tailwind's gonna come out here. Are we Choice into it? What? Oh, right, we're doing the same thing. We're dead. Okay. As uh, okay. That's. I'm so I uh, eh. I was gonna say I don't think we could tailwind after that, but he has speed on us, which kind of hurts. So both Wimscots are gonna go down. That's not too bad. I think I just bring out Marshadow Shadow Sneak into that uh into that Kyogre slot, right? And then we get after it that way. Probably your best bet. Buffets are kind of annoying, but I might just change up weather next turn, which is probably the play, right? Yeah, change up weather so Marshadow can keep his focus hash. Definitely our best play. Hands down, our best play. We have to get rid of this Kyogre. Because he does have speed, we can waste a turn there. And Marshadow is the only one with first turn priority. So let's go in with that. Let's go in with that. So we'll change weather on the right slot. And we'll Shadow sneak into the Kyogre slot. And we'll off. So let's see what he goes into. Dashing. Okay, a little bit of pain, but I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Let's get it, Marshadow. My boy Marshadow coming out. Alright, cool. So from here, we're just going to Geyser. Right into you. Which Geyser does more? Let me make sure the Geyser that I'm using. Does more so 150, 140. Yeah, we're using a stronger geyser. We're gonna do that, and we're just gonna shadow sneak right on top of this guy over eject button out. Hopefully, we're not gonna see a max guard. He probably he might even max guard this, it would be a smart play. But again, I would get another turn for my Marshadow and we can kind of thrive out from there. But if I can waste out these tailwinds, I feel like we can thrive out here pretty well. I do have this lovely little focus ash, this lovely little focus ash, and then we have Zassi in the back end. That seems just great all around. So Shadow Sneak comes out here. We're going to eject button this Kyogre out. We're going to force out his final Pokemon and waste out his Dynamax turn. So not too bad. Marshadow coming out here. And if I get off a Spectral Thief, I can take this thing's... Uh, I can take uh, Zacian's attack boost, which is amazing. I think Marshadow has one of the best mythical Pokemon moves in the game. In the game. That leads me to the question of the day. What mythical Pokemon move do you like the best? Considering every single mythical Pokemon has their own move. Marshadows is really cool. It's a special thief. It takes the, all their stat boost and then it hits. So I could use it on Zassi and take its plus one attack boost and then roll off from there. This thing's going to blade. We're going to be able to soak up pretty well. I hope we can maybe pick up the KO here. If not, a Shadow Sneak probably can finish this thing off. But we got to remember the Kyogre doesn't have a choice scarf anymore, which is really good for us. So we're going to do this and we do pick up the KO. That's gorgeous. That is lovely. That is lovely. So I still have Focus Ash. I still do have Focus Ash, which is huge. I could change up weather again if I want to, or I can just go into a... I think I have to get after his Kyogre, right? Because the Kyogre is a bigger pain. It doesn't have a choice scarf anymore, which is enormous. So I don't have to deal with that with a uh, with a Zacian later in the match. That's really good for us. So right now, how many turns left in Tailwind? I think it's one, and that could be great for us, right? One more turn left in Tailwind? He has two. You have two? Uh, what do I do? Do I... Hmm. What would do more damage? This super effective shot or this stab in the rain shot? I think this stab in the rain would do more. Because this will be times two. Get it to 260. 130 times two, 260. This will be 
150 stab so half of that would be 75 add the 75 of that that'd be 225 plus the other boost i think the geyser does a bit more damage and i think i'm going to use it up against this thing and i think i'm just going to close combat right into kyogre i have a sash i do a sash all day let's see what he does he goes for a sucker punch so cool i still have my sash oh and you're probably gonna be able to take me out which hurts soul an origin pulse can come out here so you survive that marsh shadow which is gorgeous you can close combat now which is big and we just gotta waste out the tailwind turns wow that sucker punch did a lot of damage i was hoping we can get off one more dynamax turn the close combat coming in hot and marsh shadow oh i was gonna say pick it up the ko brings it down to one so he gets a free focus ash that kind of hurts the soul and then i think from here we're just going to zassian hmm this is tough. This is going to be tough here. I know we can take out Yvelto with one shot. He might sucker punch into me and then go for the water move. So I think I have to protect Zassian just to gra grab some speed here. I do have to protect him because what I think is going to happen is going to be sucker punch into Marshadow and then an Origin Pulse across. So I think I just protect and waste out this last turn. Of one. And this is tough. This is tough. I know that Kyogre's not rock and protect. We know Kyogre's not rock and protect. And the reason I know that is because he was a choice scarf Pokemon. What do I do here? Can Endeavor... Would that count as an attacking move? I think it does. Just categorize as a attacking move, right? Let me see protect here. Yeah, protect. Okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to try to Shadow Sneak on this thing. But we know Sucker Punch is flying out here. We know Sucker Punch is flying out here, which kind of hurts. Hopefully it doesn't. That'd be beautiful. Let me just get rid of this Kyogre. Yep, there's Sucker Punch. Saw that from 10,000 miles away. So Marsh Shadow gets dropped out here. We're still not in a bad position here. Because I'm really not worried about the Yvelta. I'm not too worried about the Yvelta. Because I know I outspeed it. I know I outspeed the Kyogre. So I'm just going to Behemoth Blade, kill that thing first. And then go from there. Because he doesn't have a Choice Scarf. He doesn't have a Choice Scarf. Our speed's looking good. And one play rough can take out that, uh, that Zassian. Or not Zassian, that Yveltal. So we're kind of hoping that we could just land a shot. So we got Tailwind gone. We wasted out really well. We played Eject Button really well, too, we, with the switcheroo. My boy Marshadow got off some big damage with that close combat and did some work with the Shadow Sneaks. We love it. So Sucker Punch, fine through here. Zassian's able to soak really well. That's huge. That's big time plays. That thing is Orb. So Behemoth Blade comes out here. All we have to do is land a Play Rough. And I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen, Play Rough might be my worst enemy ever. Play rough might be my worst enemy ever. It is 90 accuracy, but it never does a lot of damage. It never does. It never does. So to be honest, if we miss this play rough, we lose the game. But I feel like he just goes into a foul play. Unless he goes into a sucker bunch this turn. But we're going to go for the play rough. We're looking for the KO. We're looking to win it. I think he's going to hope that we uh, miss this. And we don't miss it. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I always miss play roughs with Zassian. That was the first time in a while where I didn't miss it. And we take that W in battle number one. What a way to get this video started with Big Fat W with the Marsh Shadow Squad. We rolled out strong in battle number one, but now we're hopping into our second battle. And we're going up against a really strong looking team. He's got Groudon and Kyogre, so he can control both weathers. He has Sableye with Prankster, which you guys know is always very strong. Then he's also rocking Victini, Melmetal, and Calyrex for Trick Room. So Calyrex could obviously set up the Trick Room. Um, he does have, uh, what is that? He does have uh, Sableye for a fake out so i'm gonna go marsh shadow as lead i think marsh shadow is a good lead in case he wants to lead to save light and the calyx to set up a trick room we can kind of just get rid of him with marsh shadow so i'm really like a marsh shadow i'm gonna lead him and then next pokemon i want to lead could be whimsicott do we i feel like no i feel like we already have speed so i feel like whimsicott isn't really we're not gonna get a lot of value out of whimsicott so i might go regilecki regilecki is not too bad here either or i could go kyogre i could go yveltal i feel like we have a lot of different options who goes Zassian too? I feel like Zassian's a pretty strong lead here. I feel like Zassian is strong lead, lead here, but I am going to go Regilecki. I just got to watch out for the Groudon swap. I really do have to watch out for the Groudon swap. So I'm going to go Regilecki. I'm going to go Marsh Shadow's lead. Bring Zassian in the back end. And then last but not least, do we go Kyogre or do we go Yveltal? Hmm. Who do I want here? I feel like Kyogre's a little bit better. I really do. Especially because he does have Groudon and we really don't want him to go into Groudon and Victini. That could be a deadly combo with a V create move. It'll be tough, but we start off strong. We are 1-0. and Let's go back to back here in battle number two. I wonder if he's going to lead, yo. Series 13 is crazy. It's just legendaries and mythical Pokemon going at it. It's just super strong Pokemon, and you can legit get comebacked on at any single time. 
because every Pokemon is super OP. So he's going to end up leading these two, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. You cannot fake me out, and I could Dynamax Regilecki, which I think I'm going to do. I think I am going to Dynamax Regilecki, um, and I might just Spectral Thief that Calories, right? Probably my best bet. Spectral Thief straight into you. And then go right into... I could go into Max Darkness. What do I go into a Lightning? I don't think a Lightning is too bad. Or I can go into an Airstream. But again, we already have Speed. I don't think he really has Pokemon that can outspeed me. So I think I'm just going to go into my Stab Move, Lightning. Try to get rid of the Sableye. Plus, I don't think he's swapping the Sableye. I really do not think he is. I really do not think he is. So we're going to Dynamax Regilecki here. I feel like this is a solid lead. This is exactly why I brought in Marshadow. Marshadow can't be picked out. We can Dynamax Regilecki. Or Regilecki slot. And plus, Marshadow is super effective up against the Scalar. So, we're going to be able to do well here. We should be able to do well. I don't think he's going to be able to set up Trick Room. Actually, he might be able to. He might be able to. Maybe we should double down to Calyx unless he protects. He's going to quash me. It's fine. So, he quashes me. And I guess he's going for an attacking move. Unless he's going for Trick Room. Would that still go last? To bring that thing down to one, he might be able to get off Trick Room. That could be tough. That could be tough. See how this one plays out here. Marsh had to go first if he's quashed, but Trick Room's coming out here. Wow, Trick Room does come out here. That is surprising. That is surprising, but we are still going to be able to do some good damage onto him and roll off him there. Okay, I mean, he gets off Trick Room. That's not too bad, though. That's not too bad. Spectral Thief comes out here, chipping up some mean damage. And what do we do from here? What item is that? Weakness policy. Wow. Hurts soul. Definitely hurts soul. That is tough. That is real tough. I mean, he can quash me. But Shadow Sneak can pick up the KO. I and mean, Quash wouldn't really do anything. So I am just going to go here and I'm just going to go into a... Uh... Actually, I'm just going to go into a Spectral Thief. I have my Focus Ash and I doubt he doubles down into my... Uh... I doubt he doubles down into my... What's it called? Into my Marsh Shadow. Do we double down into Calyrex? I feel like we do. I think we do double down in the Calyrex slot. I don't think he protects. And if he doubles down in Marsh Shadow, then he doubles down in Marsh Shadow. He's going to end up swapping there. Probably going to Groudon, right? Thinking I'm going to another Lightning. Yeah, cool. We change slots. Uh, Marsh Shadow's going to go plus two, which is going to be gorgeous. Marsh Shadow's going to be plus two, and he is going to Dynamax. So we get rid of this, his Dynamax, which is huge from us. We have Kyogre in the back end. We could change up Weather. He might have Sunny Day with his, uh, with his Sableye, but I'm not too worried about the Sableye. Guys, Victini. Victini's kind of scary, but Victini's rather fast, too. Victini is rather fast. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to drop a Hailstorm on the who? On the, my Marsh Shadow? I'm kind of hoping. It's going to be Marsh Shadow. That's totally cool. That's totally fine. I mean, Lightning's not going to hit, though. I wish I would have went into an Airstream, because we're not going to slide over anymore. But still, Marshadow is going to be plus two, but he is going to die here. The Spectral Thief comes out here. We take his stats. We get to showcase his move, which is amazing. We are now plus two on attack, and we're going to rip into this Calyrex. I'm surprised he Dynamax a Calyrex. I'm surprised he didn't just go into, like, Glacial Lance. He probably would have got more value out of that. And then Dynamax Kyogre. Or well, not Kyogre. Dynamax Groudon. Okay, so that's not too bad. So he hits a swap there. Um, we are going to change up weather with uh, Kyogre. But I think there's a slight chance he brings out Victini here. And then we can just drop like an Ultra Pulse and kind of roll off from there, right? I dig it. I dig it a lot. I dig it a lot. Unless he goes into what's it called? Unless he goes into uh, Sableye, but I don't know. Do we think he's going to go into Sableye? There's a slight chance. There is a slight chance he goes into Sableye. I'm just going to go into Kyogre. I think he goes to Sableye for the big out, right? Might be his best move. Sableye coming out here? Oh, no. It's going to be Mel... Mel oh. Oh. That's a little scary. That's scary. That thing's scary right there. I don't like that one bit. My problem here is... I got to go, obviously go into an Origin Pulse. Because we know that he's coming after me. I got to go into an Origin Pulse. And I got to go into... I guess I got a Lightning into the slot. I mean, if I max guard and he hits me with blades, I mean, I think he's going to go for blades, right? He could protect here. Go for a thunder punch. We sh can we eat that up? We do. I love you, Kyogre. And of course, he outspeeds me. That hurts his soul. Regilecki dodged it, though. 
Reggie with the dodge. That's a big time dodge, Reggie. That's a big time dodge. It's a big time dodge. Laney coming out in here hot. I do you like Laney? How much damage are we gonna do on this thing? We don't pick up the KO, that kinda hurts the soul. Um how many turns left in Tricker? Because Blades does me dirty. <laughs> Blades does me so dirty. <laughs> Blades does me so dirty. Battle number two not looking so hot here. Blades does me so dirty. And plus Mel Metal can hit like an absolute truck. I kinda wish my Kyogre dodged that shot, because that origin pulse would be Origin Pulse would have been huge. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Two. We go for the double protect. Might be our best bet, right? I'm obviously going to protect this turn. I think we're going to go for double protect here. The double, double protect. So we're going to protect both of them right here. And then we're going to try to do it again. The double, double protect. Because these guys get absolutely ripped on by Pierce Spice Blades. And Mel Metal is really, really strong. We showcased in the last battle. But this would be some crazy RNG if I can land a double, double protect. Double Iron Bash was coming in hot. That, that would have did some damage. Can Jeans do it? Can Jeans pull off the ultimate RNG? If we do, we pretty much win this game, right? Or just battle? I don't know. It would be close. The double, double protect. Let's do it. The double, double protect. Coming at you guys. Zassian comes out. There's one. Yo, we halved it. We halved it. Show me the double, double protect. The double, double protect worked. The double... Yo, this dude is not having it. This dude is not having it. He's not having it. The double, double protect. Coming in hot. We love it. Um, How do I play this one now? That's the real question. I don't have E-Web, which kind of sucks. I don't have E-Web. Um, I obviously want to... I think I got a Behemoth Blade into this. And then do I get rid of Mel Metal? Because Mel Metal hits hard. Thing about Mel Metal is, thing about Mel Metal is, we go for insurance. Uh, I gotta get rid of Mel Metal, right? And hope that we can eat up a blade. I don't know. We gotta get rid of Mel Metal. Who's he protecting? Fine. I like the turn. That makes my life a bit easier. Good thing we didn't double down into him. Cool. I like that turn. I like that turn. The double, double protect. Giving us some value. Um, We can. So I'm gonna double protect again. And the reason I want to double protect here is because he can fake me out. But then he can quash me. This is not looking good. I do not like the quash. Um I'm trying to think of how I can play this. I think I have a plan here. I think I protect him and I bounce and dodge. I think he's gonna fake out this ass, right? I think he fakes out this ass if he has it. Nice play, Sheens. Nice play, Sheens. And now we bounce and we dodge his move. We get rid of the Sableye next turn. He can't quash me. Um. He's probably going to quash me. Um, do I go for another double protect? <laughs> this is awful. This is awful. I got to go into the blade here. And I got to hope we can eat up a Pristle Place Blades. He quashed me. There's the quash. Can we eat up this Blades? I'm curious. Or can we dodge it? Bounce comes to rear. Are you kidding me? Don't do me like that. Sassy dodges that. Hey, come, come on now. Come on now. Really? 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 We miss a bounce? What's the accuracy on a bounce? It's a two-turn move. It should hit every single time. It should hit every single time. Are you kidding me? We miss a bounce? The Heath Blade comes out here. We have to be able to land one more. Oh my god. It's so ugly. And he has a berry. Rocking a berry. Can another one take out? Think it can? I don't think it can, actually. Oh, dude. The double... Man, let me see your accuracy. Come here, bounce. Come here, bounce. Let me see your accuracy. I gotta screw me over like that, bounce. 85, okay. That is ugly. Making the great calls, but it's just not happening. Behemoth Blade's gonna have to come out here again. He's gonna quash me. We already know what's happening. And we have to be able to take this thing out in one shot. Or we have to be able to eat up a Blades. I don't even think we can eat up a Blades. 
Can we dodge it? Nope. Can you eat it off his ass? No shot. Yeah, no shot. GG's battle number two goes to our opponent. Really cool battle all around. We land a double double protect. We get screwed over by RNG, but RNG was working both ways. It really was. That second battle was all over the place. Bunch of RNG going crazy. Blades were missing. Bounces were missing. Double protects was happening. It was just a crazy battle, but we ended up losing it. So now we're sitting at one and one. We're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're looking for a winning record. We're going up against Groudon again. Groudon is super strong. Kind of won him the battle in the last battle, but I would say Sableye actually won the battle. Sableye is super OP with the Quash. I think it's a great Pokemon all around. But this opponent also has Incineroar. He has Mel Metal. Can he pop a trick on him? I mean, Calyrex can pop a trick, man. I don't know if Jirachi can, but then he has Jirachi and Regilecki. Um, I think I'm just going to... I want to lead Marshad up, but then I don't really want to. Um, who can I lead here? Kyogre's not too bad as a lead. I really do like Kyogre as a lead. Could get Yubelto as a lead, too. I'm just kind of scared of that Incineroar. Incineroar could be a problem. But, you know, I'm going to go Wimscott. I'm going to go Kyogre. We're going to bring Marshadow in the back end. And then last but not least, we got to bring Sassian, right? It's just our best bet. It's just our best bet. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three and grab ourselves that winning record. That lovely, amazing winning record. But yeah, that last battle, it was just all over the place. It was all over the place. I can't believe we land a double, double protect. That, that That's RNG crazy. If someone can do the math, let me know in the comment section down below the odds of us landing that. Please do. Please do, because I would I would love it. Got to fix Magikarp over here, too. Fix him right now. He's going to end up leading instant one. This is exactly why I leave this lead. He can fake me out. He can go do Jirachi things. Um, I'm just going to drop a Water Spout, right? Or do I just Dynamax? I think Dynamax is going to be my play. I think Dynamax is probably going to be my play. He's going to get the Intimidate off. That's totally fine. I go after Jirachi slot. I kind of want to go after Jirachi slot. But at the same time, I really want to go after the... The Incineroar slot. Which I'm going to do. I'm just going to Dynamax again after Incineroar. Not playing around. Not playing no games. He's going to withdraw in Sinor. We should have went after Jirachi Slot. Are you going in the Groudon? I mean, that's cool if you go in the Groudon. That's fine, because we change up weather and we get off some big damage. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I was thinking of going into a Water Spout, but this play is fine. This play is fine, so we kind of know his Pokemon. He might Dynamax Jirachi. I can definitely see a Jirachi Dynamax happening. I can definitely see that happening, but that this allows us to get off that Tailwind, which is awesome. We're going to change weather straight back to what we want it to be. I could hand off my eject button to the Jirachi and take its item. And we can kind of roll out from there. A lot of Jirachis roll out with Assault Vest. From what I've seen as of recently. We'll see what he wants to do. Tailwind coming out and about. I think this guy just still does a decent amount of damage. It's not like it's going to do like a little bit of damage. It still should be able to do a nice chunk. Actually, Jirachi might actually hit me here. Hit my one scout with like an Iron Head or something. Look at that damage. That's beautiful. And I kind of hope he eject buttons me out. I'm actually really hoping he does. I'm really hoping he does. Go ahead, hit my Wimscott. He's going to go Amnesia. Oh! Chill on me, man. I mean, Amnesia boost. That's fine. Special Defense is going to get boosted. He might just Dynamax from there. And at this point, uh... This is, what is his Special Defense at? That's plus two, right? Is it really worth going into a shot there? Is it really worth going into a shot onto him? I feel like I just take his item, right? You just say, give me your item, and then we just go into a... Do we Hailstorm, or do we keep the weather? Let me just Geyser again. Right into the slot. Because even if he protects, that should still be able to take him out. He's going to end up patrol on the ground. What are you going into? Back into Sinor? What are you going into here? Mel Metal. Okay, Mel Metals? Uh, it's not too bad. He's going to stay in here with Jirachi. My right? Amnesia again. But I'm going to switch route. I am just going to take his item. And I have a Jack button now. So I can get rid of its... uh. I can get rid of its uh, boost by forcing him to swap out if this doesn't kill. But it does kill, which kind of hurts this one. It does kill. Eject button's not going to do anything. It's not going to force him to swap anymore. And Jirachi is going to go for another enemy, which I'm kind of fine with because we do have Zacian and Marshadow in the back. And Marshadow can take its stats. Marshadow can take its stats, dude. Marshadow can take its stats. <laughs> I forgot about that. He can boost all he wants because I'm taking him with Marshadow. I'm taking him with Marshadow. He's going to bring back out this thing. Um, we can still take it out. Yo, Marshadow can take its stats. Marshadow can take its stats. Um, what do we do from here? We just move blast, try to go get it to go minus one. I want to be too bad. And then we just geyser into the slot. I just fake out my Wimscott. 
battle was canceled. We take it just like that. We take it just like that. But there it is, guys. Battle number three in the bag. We grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. I kind of wish that third and final battle went the distance and our opponent did not cancel the battle because Marshadow would have thrived out there. Marshadow could have just Spectral Thief, took all that plus four boost on that special defense, and then hit it like a truck. And I shouldn't have really been worried about that special defense boost, considering we had Zacian and Marshadow in the back end, which were two physical attackers who just don't even worry about special defense. They have they don't they don't care about it. They don't care about it because they are physical attackers, but Really cool that we got to showcase this team and grab ourselves a winning record with it as well. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.